Good morning, you guys. I'm here shipping the eight items that sold yesterday. We have a thrift trip we're gonna do today as well as some listing and photographing. I have a lot of stuff on my plate because I've gotta get caught up with eBay. It's Q4 now and that means it's time to get as many listings up on eBay as I can. I got some video games listed over the weekend so those have been selling really quickly. Video games are one of my favorite things to sell whenever I find them. I don't find them super often. Final Fantasy 7 and 8 Remastered sold for $25 plus $8 shipping and then Samurai Warriors 5 for the Switch sold for or $35 plus shipping. I also have this triple three half evil tea that is like a streetwear brand. Usually as you guys know TJ does my shipping but he is so busy at work right now so he was like is it okay if you ship? I'm like absolutely I've done it for many years. He does work full-time so he doesn't help me full-time. Um, he helps me as he can and some days he's just really busy. And then this really pretty Rebecca Taylor blouse, like a wrap blouse, retails for $125. It sold for $48.74, which it was on sale. I got this in a palette, so this was an easy flip. I do love the palette stuff for Q4 especially because that is the time of year people are buying new things and you wanna get your store listed with new items if you can. Then we have this Buckle BKE camo print hoodie. Uh, this is new with tags and it's sold 20 you guys, so thank you so much for watching. So the brand of these boots, I have them already wrapped up, is Schutz, S-C-H-U-T-Z. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. They sold for $100. They are these crocodile embossed knee-high boots. They retail for hundreds of dollars. So if you ever find this brand, it's a really good bolo. These sell really great. Okay, all done with shipping. Uh, how much was this? few hundred dollars in orders. So now I'm gonna put it on the porch for package pickup and then let's go thrifting. Bread and butter stuff.
if you redeem twenty dollars, perfect. It's gonna be seventy-one ninety. Perfect. Okay. All right, thrift haul. Two pairs of Everlane jeans, both straight, both the same style actually. Um, the high rise straight jean, uh, both of them, one in a medium wash, one in a light wash. These should sell for like 40 bucks. Nice. Love Everlane jeans, these are great. Five bucks each. Okay, so I grabbed Can Can jeans. These are my favorite personal brand of jeans to buy for me to wear. Um, these also sell great though. They're very stretchy, they're super comfortable. These are just like a relaxed boyfriend style. Distressed. These should sell for at least 30 bucks. Looks like you got a lot of jeans there. I did get a lot of good, I got a lot of good jeans. Big fan of the this jeans. This brand is called Vervet, and it just felt really nice. I actually think I bought these for me to wear for a while before I sell them, but I think they'll still sell for like 25 bucks. Oh, I was excited to find this. Do you know? It's got the... Oh. Lulu. It's Lulu. Men's Lululemon half zip pullover, hooded pullover. We love it. This is easy, 40 bucks. This is a brand I have not heard of before. It's Kurt Lyle. And when I looked up comps, they seemed to be like really good. So maybe 35 bucks for this. I tried to only pick up things that were like a banger. Okay, I don't know what this is though. Okay. As pick I say it up. that. As no, I no, say just that. Pick it up. <laughs> it's in a different language. I'm like, what is this? Bor oh, that's, that's a very high end. It's Rush, volleyball. Russian like brand. I don't even know. It's in a different language. Uh, but when I looked up comps for sweaters with this logo on it, they were like 80 bucks. Another Everlane, and this was new with tags, and for only three dollars. What a deal! Yeah, Everlane is a great. Everlane's a great brand. It. Um, they're just good quality basics and staples. Easy pickup, probably 25 bucks I could sell it for. Nice. Did you have a coupon at this place? I did, I had 20 bucks off. Sweet. So I got I got paid $71 for everything here. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I was excited to find this one. You know this one. Yes. Tori Birch. I thought she only made shoes. She knows, she makes all kinds of clothes. Yeah, so pretty. I see a listing on eBay for $180 for this dress. I don't know that that's what it'll sell for. Um, I'm gonna put it around $75, but it's in really good condition. We love Tori, and this is the newer tag. These leggings are called Navigation, N-V-G-T-N. Um, and I saw, I saw comps for around $25 for these. They're seamless. Yeah, they look cool with a little booty cheek, uh, I don't know, half moon. Oh, oh, there you go. Whatever. I saw these in the men's section. These are Abercrombie and Fitch vintage basketball shorts. Those are. And they the sold comps are around 30 bucks. What did <laughs> you buy? Okay, wait. Holy wait. cow. So I saw this sitting out, I right? I think you specialize in clothes. I do, but I'm but I I wandered around because Branch I didn't out. I didn't want to get home yet. I was just like I just want, I'm not ready to go no, home and face you help me? and face the children. Yeah, I had a hard day today too. I know. Sorry. Okay. Now I know what you so, were doing. Playing with dolls. First of all, it has its own certificate. It does. And when I looked up comps for this brand, Lency, they were around two hundred dollars. No way. Yeah. What is this? It's a doll. It's, it's like a, a felt cabbage patch kid. Europe, it's a European felt doll. So put a hundred bucks, maybe. But I'll. You guys, let me know in the comments if Wait, you sell specialty things. Bucks. I think. Well, the comps are like between one hundred and fifty to two hundred. So I'm gonna say a hundred just to be safe, because maybe I made a mistake and it's not the fancier kind. I don't know anything about dolls. Now this is also in Italian. How do I know that? Mm. I hover. Google Translate on my phone over it and it overlays into English. So be gentle Daniel. with this, right? Yeah. I don't know. So we'll see. This is where knowledgeable friends in the comment section, you let me know. What uh, what did I pick up? It was four dollars, so worst case there. scenario it can oh, sell for no. like ten or twenty. Okay, this brand <laughs> Den Ham. I don't know if that's a play on words or whatever. Um, it's like a waxed denim. These comps playing? seem to be like 40, 50 bucks for these. Oh, denim? Yeah, denim, oh. denim, yeah. So 40 bucks. Took me a sec. Five. I'm a little slow. We got the free people. This is like a striped peplum little tee here. What's it? What's the word? Oh, like, nah, 20 bucks. 25. Another free people. This has like a ruffle long sleeve. Probably just another, I would say 30 bucks on this because it's kind of fun and cute. Okay, do you know this brand? Okay, wait. Let's see if I'm getting good. Channel. <laughs> Channel locks? Okay, 
look guys it says Chanel I don't see now it curls in it actually doesn't I was like look it's for it's four dollars if it's real it's worth the risk to just grab it I worth don't the know risk. I th the interior tag was a little sus. It just has, there's no like made in France or like made in Italy. There's no like extra tags. Made in China. Is this made in China? Is that good? No, I see, yeah, I don't know. That could, so I will get it authenticated and future me will update you, mm. but it's, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably not authentic, but I thought in case it is. Okay, future Ashley here. It did turn out to be a replica, not authentic. I kind of suspected that, but I thought, you know, let's just grab it anyway. The tag does look pretty off. And <laughs> you know, occasionally Chanel and other high-end brands have like a uniform line. So I thought this might be that, but luckily only $4 down the toilet. <laughs> Got the Sundance. You asked me if I knew what Chanel was? Yeah. Come on. You do, you... I mean, come on. <laughs> really? I don't know. I know I don't know a lot of brands, but. This is cute. I'm like, maybe I'll keep hey. this. Sundance. Sundance, yeah, this is like 30 bucks easy. Love Sundance. I didn't put Chanel on the spreadsheet, P.S. Oh, you didn't? Okay, don't. Yeah, don't put it on. We're not gonna include the Chanel until we can prove it's authentic. It's probably not. Cloth and stone, I pick this up all the time. Button down, it's like, it's sold in Anthropology. It's a very consistent seller at $25, $30. Bread and butter. Okay, this is cool. This is a brand called, it says, made in Italy. The brand is Zensa, mm -hmm. and these are like compression leggings. It says you can Look, shorten your muscle recovery with these. They're copying each other. I know. Okay, so these ultra compression leggings retail for a hundred dollars. Interesting. And they resell for like fifty. It looks like. Okay. So, this is a fun find. I have not found this brand in a long time, but I love picking it up. Acris Punto is a very high-end brand. Whenever I find their blazers, they sell for over 100 easy, they, and they retail for a lot of money. This is a very simple blouse though, so I would guess maybe around $40, but still, maybe 40, 50. Uh, it's a very high-end brand, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for Acris or Acris Punto. Both sell great. I, I, you guys know, it's like old hat. Vince, I, I pick up Vince all the time. Again, I said this like a million times, Vince retails for a ton of money. I wouldn't be surprised if this retailed for like $200, but it resells for like 30. So I would say 35 bucks for this. It's like a larger hoodie. Um, I actually just sold a Vince hoodie for 30 bucks in my store. So nice. this will replace it. Besides so Yeah, extra oh, large. So remember. yeah, it's not for you. Yeah. It's a little big for me. Vince is great. Saludos, espadrilles. I like saludos, they're cool. They are, they're only five bucks. These will sell for around 30, 35. And then we've got super dry, super dry boots. Um, super dry, I picked up their sweatshirts. I picked up a lot of their stuff before, but these boots seem to sell on eBay for like 50 bucks. So I grabbed them. Nice. Yeah. Okay. 40 or 50, let's say 40 just to be safe, but they be look in good condition. That's it. Okay, what Don't are we at? Crazy. 70 I paid All right. $71 for everything. You you uh 23 items. Okay. So that means I paid like $3 an item. $3 an item. That's awesome. $3 you always aim for a 10x, right? So I do indeed. 880. Yes. You did it. I did it. Nice. That's a great haul for $71. Not bad. We did it. That's awesome. We so, did it. You did it. <laughs> I stayed home and took care of the kids. Yes, you did, which by the way is a much harder job. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's like the hardest thing. <laughs> I have my work cut out for me because I have quite a few things to list, but thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it helps me so much if you give the video a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like it, giving it a thumbs up tells me that you want more videos similar to the one I just did. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Just, just <laughs> click it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want all kinds of content about the fun things that I find to sell online. If you don't thumbs up, Ash is gonna be depressed. I will so be just, very sad. I'll cry. Just, just thumbs it up. <laughs> all right, thanks again, you guys. Take care, and I will catch you next time.